Hey there YouTube, I'm Adam, better known on YouTube as FXSteed79, and today I'm going to show you a really awesome trick that you can do at home with your iPod Touch, or your iPhone, and your computer. The one thing you are going to need that some of you may not have is Wi-Fi, and if you don't have Wi-Fi in your house, just go to some coffee shop or hotel or whatever, because they usually have Wi-Fi there. Alright, so the trick I'm going to show you is um, something called Touchpad Pro, right? And what it allows you to do is you start the program and it looks like that. When you go like that, it starts moving the cursor on your computer just as you're touching here. Let me show you. Alright, I'm showing you the whole computer so that you can see. <coughs> Sorry, uh, there, I'm not, there's no external mouses or whatever connected. Nothing. And I'm not using the little thingy right here. Alright, so watch this. The mouse currently is right here. Watch it. See it? It's kind of hard to see. But it is moving around in circles. And you can click on stuff. You can bring up... Yeah, and and if you want to, when you're navigating the internet, you can go up to this bar right here, press the keyboard, and you'll be able to type in stuff like um, oh sorry, ed seventy nine dot tk. That's my website, and see, it just. Uh, just type that in up there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to show you. Right up there. See it typed in E79? And when I type in four letters, it types them in as well. See? Sorry, it's a bit blurry. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, that is the demo of the Touchpad Pro. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it and make it your own. Alright. Okay, you're going to need a jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone for this. Sorry, I'm right next to a window. Turn this way. There we go. You can see that better. Alright, what you're going to do is click on Installer. Wait for it to load up. Um, and I believe Touchpad Pro is under Toys. Although I can't be certain of that. Let me check. Okay, I was wrong. Touchpad Pro is under Utilities, so hit the little install button down there, and just scroll down to, i try and do this, um, I have a lot more than you probably do, if you're looking at this, so. Um, utilities, right there. Utilities. And just download Touchpad Pro from there. Okay. Now you're going to want to get on your computer. You're going to want to go to this site, which is uh, tightvnc.com slash download.html. I'll put that in the description as well. Um, so that you can just click on it. And what you're going to want to do is, if you have a Windows, just download that, one, that top one right there that's in bold. Um, scroll down, Linux, I don't think they support, oh, um, there's some other thing that you can do, you don't have to download this on your, if you're on a Macintosh, I actually don't know what you do if you're on a Macintosh, because I'm not, but what you want to do is go to, uh, um, so, well, first, download that, 
right? And it will go to start all programs and then you'll see type VNC. Ah, too blurry. Type VNC right there. Click on that. And off to the side you'll see launch type VNC server. Click on that. And what you're gonna see down here, if I can get it focused, is this little V. This little V thing will pop up right there. See it? And what you want to do is put your cursor over that and it will give you this number, right? And um, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want you to have my number. But take that number, and that's all you need. Just write that down or something. Um, oh, by the way, whenever you're doing this, you need to launch the Type PNC server, else it won't work. So, go to Touchpad, right? And you're going to see this screen. See this little plus up here? Click on that. And it on address or name just enter any name it doesn't really matter mine is home laptop right but on address you enter um, that number that you saw and it's gonna look like an IP address sort of and um, it's uh, put in the decimal point and everything okay so um, oh and it's also when you um when it first launches the Type VNC server on your computer, um, it's gonna ask. It's gonna bring up this window and asking you to create a password and everything. Enter that password right there where it says password. Display. Don't worry about display. Uh, just leave that the same. So you hit save. Blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, and you'll see whatever you just did. So click on it and wait a second for it to load and it will bring up that and if you look at the screen there's the mouse see you can now control and you can now control your computer and you'll see at that point this little V thing Yeah, my tripod is very annoying has turned like black Hey guys, keep in mind that you're going, if you shut off your computer, you're going to need to restart the Type VNC server by going to Start All Programs Type VNC, Start Launch Type VNC server, because it will deactivate once you turn your computer off. Uh, don't share your number with people, they'll be able to hack your computer, and have fun. Thanks for watching, you guys.